everyone, it's Esther. Welcome to a lesson about World War I and Remembrance Day. We have now left the 19th century, which means the 1800s, and we're moving into the 1900s. Today, we're going to work in your Discover Canada guide on pages 21 and 22. In previous lessons, we learned about loyalists, which really applies to anyone who felt loyal to the British Empire. Well, this feeling continued for Canadian people into the 1900s. Canadians were proud to serve in a British war that happened in South Africa called the Boer Wars. In 1900, there were two battles. One was called Paardeburg, the other was called Lillefontaine and 260 Canadian soldiers died. In 1914, World War I began in Europe when Germany attacked Belgium and France. Britain declared war and Canadian soldiers formed a group called the Canadian Corps. Notice I do not pronounce the P in the word Corps. More than 600,000 Canadians served in World War I, and that was a lot because Canada's population was only 8 million people. Canadian soldiers were famous for being very brave and came up with new ways to fight and win battles. The most famous battle of World War I is called Vimy Ridge. The Canadian Corps captured Vimy Ridge in France a big victory, but sadly, 10,000 were killed or wounded in that battle. The picture that you see, it is a memorial in France for the soldiers who served and died in this battle. April 9th is celebrated as Vimy Day. Back in Canada, the Government of Canada made a poor decision to put over 8,000 people with an Austro-Hungarian background into labor camps because they were considered enemies of the British Empire. This was a form of discrimination. In 1918, World War I ended. In the 100 days before the end of the war, General Sir Arthur Currie, known as Canada's greatest soldier, led the Canadian Corps through some victorious battles like Amiens, Arras, Canal du Nord, Cambrai, and Bonn. The war ended in an armistice, which is like a peace agreement, on November 11, 1918. 60,000 Canadians were killed and 170,000 were wounded. The war made Canadians proud of Canada and Britain. Here is a maple leaf badge that soldiers wore on their army cap in World War I. You also see a young woman in the other picture, and she is one of the 3,000 nurses called Bluebirds who served in World War I. In Canada, we observe Remembrance Day on November 11th every year. This is to remember those who have served in conflicts or war who are still alive, called veterans, and to remember the soldiers who died and sacrificed their lives in our wars. At 11 o'clock in the morning, on the 11th day of the 11th month, Canadians stop what they're doing to be silent for one minute, to remember and be thankful for the sacrifices soldiers made for our freedom. Most towns and cities have a ceremony at a war memorial. There would be veterans there and music and soldiers for you to see. If you can't go to a Remembrance Day ceremony in your town or city, you can watch the National Remembrance Day ceremony in Ottawa on TV or online. Um, it really is a very important part of being Canadian. I've included a link in the resource area of this module so you can see part of that broadcast for yourself. Canadians wear a red poppy like this 
through the beginning of November to show respect for the veterans and soldiers. I hope that you find a way to observe Remembrance Day this November. There is a famous poem that is almost always recited on Remembrance Day, and your children will probably learn it at school. It was written by Canadian Medical Officer Lieutenant Colonel John McRae in 1915, and it is called In Flanders Fields. Flanders Fields is a cemetery in Belgium where many Canadian soldiers were buried. Now, the poem is in an old style of English, but you will be able to tell from the words that it is very sad and very powerful. I'm going to read the poem for you now. In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw, the torch, be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.